What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 1.58 p.m. January 26, 2018. We're coming to you with another trading video. This one's going to be on Digibyte. And, yeah, Digibyte. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. Digibyte USD. But first, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Upvote, re-steam. If you guys are on Steam it and or DTube, greatly appreciate it. If you're not, links are down below. Get on that. Also, get on our uh, Facebook trading team. Lots of great information there. Another thing I want to say is uh, I apologize for the background noise. <laughs> At this location is kind of where I am during the day. It's a manufacturing house and um, facility, and we, we, we manufacture here. So even my office, even though um, I, am, I am behind uh, you know closed doors, you should imagine what the sounds sound like out there. So I have to apologize. I do want to get you guys these videos throughout the day. So that's why I do it. The other videos at night is obviously at home. And that's where it's a lot, a lot quieter, uh, at least when the kids are sleeping. So let's get into it right now. And I apologize. I'm trying to filter out as much of this as possible. Um, and uh, yeah. So I'm not going to go through. There's a lot of Elliott Wave counts here and stuff like that. I'm not going to get through that. Um, there was a large triangle right here, and this is really what a sell-off is supposed to look like, you know, to a point where people are just, like, fed up with this thing. So um, this is a very short sell-off. I don't think this is over. I Even right here, I don't think this is over. I don't think it's just going to shoot straight up from here. What had happened was we had a, you know, right triangle, by a barrier triangle, and uh, as, as such, the market fell off from there. Then we went sideways, which is a, a, good, a good sign. We went sideways for some time. Looks like we have an A, B, C, D, E. Uh, let's look at that. An A, B, C, D, E right here. And obviously, there's going to be a decision for, for Digibyte to make as it gets to the end of this triangle. Now, is it going to go up or is it going to go down? It all depends on Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin doing right now? Bitcoin is kind of languishing here. Okay, there's a lot of resistance right here at this level. Let's see what happens with Bitcoin. But right now, if Bitcoin falls off, Digibyte will fall off. If Bitcoin goes up, probably the same thing there too. My estimation is that it will come down. Why? So normally when you have like a barrier triangle like this, the minimum distance that it will go is the height of the triangle. Minimum distance. So that would mean that this line, this height of the triangle, would go to here. Aha. Uh -huh. Here happens to be the same the support line here that we drew in based on the price action here. We also have another support line going through here, which happens to be pretty much right in the middle of of this uh, triangle. It's kind of like the average point of this triangle, and it also happens to be right where the market is right now. And it also happens to be a support level of this action right here. It happens to be a resistance level for this action right here. So we kind of are looking at this in segments. Okay. Now, another thing um, I want to bring up, you know, people have asked us, why don't we see Fibonacci's on your, on your charts? I totally use Fibonacci's, no question about it. But uh, my videos tend to go on really long because of the fact that I'm trying to get you a lot of other information that a lot of other people aren't talking about. And a lot of other people don't look at the market in this way. And so I want to go ahead and get you guys that information. And drawing a Fibonacci is, uh, how do I say, kind of elementary. So um, let's, let's draw one. So where in the world is it here? I forgot. been a long time okay Fibonacci retracement let's call the bottom right here and let's call this the top 
Okay. So, yeah, that's a near-term bottom right now. So, what are we what are we looking at? Um, nothing really lines up all that well. You know, you could make an argument that this could kind of be a support level for this price action, and the same thing here too. What I would what I would suggest is that if this were to sell off, and it's going to sell off hard, and normally that's going to happen when when Bitcoin sells off. When Bitcoin sells off, if Bitcoin sells off hard, then I think the market would come down to this level. But maybe it won't come down to this level. Maybe it'll come down to this level here. So let's call that 0.037, call it 0.038 versus what I'm drawing right here is a 0.031. So possibly it stops here instead of stopping here. And that would that would make sense. So we're going to leave it there right now on, on uh, Digibyte. We will make more in-depth um, analysis going forward. Uh, if people find interest in this, we'll start you know, showing you the Elliott wave counts and things of that sort. I understand this is kind of uh, pretty high level, and that there is a lot more that could be said, but I just want to get this video out to you guys for those that are actually trading it and are at some sort of a decision point right now. So with that said, we're going to leave it there. I'm not going to subject you guys to all the noise that's in the background right now. <laughs> and uh, let us know if you guys have any questions. Uh, Resteam, upvote, like I say, always appreciated. And subscribing to the channel um, is always a must. No, it's always appreciated too. Thanks a lot. Happy trading.